Hello students, this is Johnson. I welcome to online class handling some standard biology. In this session, we are going to discussing about chapter number one, organization in living things. The following learning objectives are connective tissue, types of connective tissue, nervous tissue, structure of nervous tissue. First one, connective tissue. Connective tissue is specialized to connect anchor various body organs. The tissue can connect bones to each other, muscles to bones, bind tissues and can also give support to various parts of body by creating a packing around organs. Yes. So connective tissue means to connect the internal organ of bone to bone, bone to muscles and muscle tissues with other internal organs with the help of the some specialized cells is called connective tissue. So it having capacity of packing around the organs. Types of connective tissue in animals there are following five types of connective tissues. The first one areola or loose connective tissue. Second one dense regular connective tissue. Third one adipose tissue. Fourth one skeletal tissue and fifth one fluid connective tissue. The first one areolar or loose connective tissue as the name suggests this tissue is a loose and cellular connective tissue. Its matrix consists of two kinds of fiber. Yes, it is a loose connective tissue and also this tissue contains matrix or substance or material. Two types of material is present. The first one white collagen fibers. Second one yellow elastic fibers or elastin. These two fibers are mixed to in the tissues having capacity to some protective nature and also fill the space. The first one is white collagen fibers which changes into gelatin on boiling water. So this substance, the gelatin is formed from boiling of water. Yes, with this picture, the white fibers present in the areola connective tissue. These tissues are, it's a collagen, it's a made up of some special kind of proteins. It's a white substance, so it is called that white collagen fibers. When put in the boiling in water, it change into gelatin. Second one, yellow elastic fibers or elastin. It joins skin to muscles. Yes, it's an elastic in nature. So, it joins with the skin to muscles and fill spaces inside organs. Where are the space inside the organ is going to occupy and is found around. Where is found? Muscles and blood vessels and now This is a yellow elastic fibers. This is the nature of the yellow elastic fibers. They occupy the space of that fat cells. So it is an yellow elastic fibers. Dense regular connective tissue. So it is a fibrous connective tissue. It's characterized by ordered and densely packed collection of fibers and cells. Yes, this dense regular connective tissue more than substance, more than muscle present here. So we call it as dense regular connective tissue. So dense regular connective tissue is principal component of tendons and ligaments and upper neurosis. First one tendons. Tendons are cord like strong inelastic structures that join skeletal muscles to bones. Yes. Here muscle connected with the bone. So it is called as tendons. How look like cord like nature, very very strongest and also inelastic structures. So it is a tendons. So the skeletal muscle bone attached with along with the muscle to connect another one bone. So it is called a tendon. The next ligament. They are elastic structures that connect bone to bone. Yes, it connect bone to bone. See the picture. So this is the one type of bone, this is the one type of bone, but it does not connect directly. Yes, because it is the ligament present here, anterior ligament and the posterior ligament. What happens? These two bones are attached not directly. By the help of this ligament, join to both bones with the minor structure of the elastic type. Then only used for bone does not directly to meet. What happened after the aged people, after 60, maybe 70, what happened? This ligament may be tear. So the bones are directly to join. So rupture may be happened. 
name become pain. The next one, upper neurosis. These are broad sheets of dense fibrous collagenous connective tissue that covers. Yes, maybe we remove the skin of the finger on the place. What happened? The container, these muscles, fibers, bones, and these kind of upper neurosis present on that place. So it is called that connective tissue it will also broad sheets of dense fibrous collagenous substance present on that over the finger of the nature. You can see this upper surface of the skin we are going to inside that so these are the tissues of connective along with the small bone. Next one adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is basically an aggregation of fat cells or adipocytes. Here, small molecules, small molecules deposited on that one or more places. What happened? Minute particles that is called that adipocytes. So that tissue is called adipose tissue. Yes, the adipose tissue is abundant below the skin between the internal organs. Example around the kidneys and yellow bone marrow. So basically, this adipose tissue means fat substance. You can see on the inside there or below the skin between the internal organs and also around the skin, kidneys and in yellow bone marrow. Second one, it serves as, it serves as fat reservoir and keeps visceral organs in position. So what happened? Internal organ also fixed at one place with the help of this fat reservoir. It forms shock absorbing questions around kidneys and eyes, balls. Maybe injury or maybe happened some uh, accidentally. What happened? This fat substance to control to protect that some of the soft of the body of organs it protected by the this adipose tissue. It also acts as insulators and regulates body temperature. So insulator means that uh, outside of the heat does not enter in the body or enter in inside the organ. So fat is a regulator. Yes, and also it regulates body temperature. The next one, skeletal tissues. Skeletal or supporting tissue includes cartilage and bone which form the endoskeleton of your vertebrate body yes the skeletal tissue is a support to the tissues that may be cartilage and bone so cartilage is soft bone and bone is a heart where is found where is formed vertebrate body yes vertebrate means having a backbone that vertebrate body endoskeleton system that is mean the bones are present inside the body only that is given so this see both pictures the first one picture is an cartilage soft bone and although some of the regions are some that bone is a soft bone and second one of this picture you can see that whole human skeletal system it is an framework of the body it is an framework of the body yes so this bone it is a highly hard and rigid very toughest material on the case of cartilage is a very soft material cartilage the matrix of cartilage has a delicate network of collagen fibers yes then delicate network means we can clearly observe what observe is a network of like structure that is made up of fibrous material that is fiber is called it, collagen fiber it is nature of protein and cells are called chondrocytes what is called chondrocytes and it is helping internal growth yes it will help you for internal growth yes see this so many fibers network like structure so these fibers contain this is cells called living cells called chondrocytes it is located in yar pinna nose tip epiglottis intervertebral disc and end of long bones lower ends of ribs and wings of trachea yes we can note that this kind of cartilage present in the yar the yar contains small tip of and a small having bone that is this bone is very soft in nature that is called the cartilage and tip of the nose and our toad region and intervertebral this means the backbone backbone having a minute segment of uh, bones present in, in the vertebral column that bone between the two bones present inside that is that 
cartilage is soft bone and end of long bones yes in the end of the long bones mean our leg bone maybe our hand and also other where the joints are long bones that is present in the cartilage low ends of ribs in our lungs are protected by the rib cage at the lower end of the rib cage and also this kind of cartilage present rings of trachea and also our windpipe it provides support and flexibility to the body parts it smooth and surface at joints it smooth and surface at joints yes how look like this cartilage when joints of hard bone above the hard bone the cartilage bones are present then only it is an help to the hard bone to flexible flexibility so it then so smooth and surface of the joint and bone so bone is a very strong and non flexible tissue yes look at this picture the framework of the body is an bone so this bone highly composed of some uh, minerals and proteins and also it is a very strong and non flexible tissue it is porous alveolar mineralized hard and rigid its matrix is made up of proteins yes it is made up of protein and also so many pores numerous or many minute openings on the inside the bone it is a vascular tissue veins are present inside it is also mineralized and also hard and rigid it is made up of proteins matrix of made up of protein the matrix of bone is in the form of thin concentric rings called lamellae yes so inside that so many rings is present i show the next slide so that is called that concentric rings so that is portion is called lamellae bone cells called osteoblast or osteocytes are present between the lamellae yes bone cell where is present inside the lamellae that is bone cell another name or also called osteoblasts bone cell also called osteoblast and osteocytes it provides shape and skeletal support to the body it protects vital organs such as brain and lungs so without bone we cannot imagine how our body look like yes because it is bone person only we are framework of the human body with the support of the bone and also it protects the vital organs such as brain and lungs so what is the difference between the cartilage and bone yes i already said the cartilage between the bones are soft like manner yes soft like manner is the hardest bone that hardest bone tip of the region this cartilage is present yes now see the hardest bone inside that so many pores highly vascularized and also it having a lamellae so this is called that havasian canal havasian canal so inside the bone toughest bone having a mineralized and also vascular this is a portion of the havasian canal and also it is an porous like look like structure openings concentric rings that is called that lamellae between the bones covered with that cap look like structure it is called that cartilage yes these bones are connected with the ligament fluid or synovial fluid this cartilage used for flexible bones help for the flexible in nature yes so cartilage is a smooth and soft bone and bone are the hardest material and functions of bone the main functions of the bones are also follows how main it function there are five main function the first type support protection movement mineral storage blood cell production yes there are five main function the first one support it provides a framework to attach muscles and other tissues second one protection aid protects the internal organ from injury third one movements 
third one movement it enables body movements by acting as levers fourth one mineral storage serves as a reservoir for calcium and phosphorus and finally blood cell production production of blood cells occurs in the red bone marrow of long bone fluid connective tissue fluid is a substance like a liquid in manner so it connect other tissue internal inside the body fluid connective tissue links the different parts of the body and maintains their continuity in the body the first one blood blood is a fluid connective tissue in this tissue cells or corpuscles move in a fluid or liquid matrix or medium called blood plasma yes here the liquid or flow fluid that matrix is called the medium is called blood plasma it contains several uh, corpuscles are present the blood plasma does not contain protein fibers but contains cells called blood corpuscles or blood cells in absence of any other protein only presence of blood corpuscles or blood cells yes the first one rbc or erythrocytes second one wbc or leukocytes third one platelets now you can see the types of blood cells the first one red blood corpuscles or cells erythrocytes helps in oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange yes so the blood carry oxygen and carbon dioxide for their exchange second type of blood cells white blood cells leukocytes neutrophil eosinophil basophil lymphocyte monocyte they fight against infections yes maybe the these white blood cells against the pathogen it kills the bacteria and virus and other microorganisms and also it is an protect our body the wbc is in protected from other any other kind of pathogens act as a barrier third one platelets thrombocytes helps in blood clotting whenever the wounds may be happen that uh, time these platelets are to stop for the blood bleeding erythrocytes or bc they transport oxygen carbon dioxide to and from the different organs of the body to the lungs yes so lungs only breathe for the taking of oxygen and given out of carbon dioxide so transport oxygen and carbon dioxide to reach the lungs second one leukocytes wbc these cells protect our body from foreign bodies so this is a very very important cells of the animal body is uh, against the pathogen kill the pathogen third one thrombocytes or blood platelets these cells primarily aid in blood clotting is a used for high used for blood clotting the last one lymph lymph is a colorless substance fluid that is filtered out of the blood capillaries so it is from that where from that filtered out of from the blood capillaries is a colorless substance is look like a watery substance look like a water in nature in the limb white blood cells are found in abundance yes mostly these limb present in the white blood cells number of more number of cells inside the wbc nervous tissue is a tissue which is specialized to transmit messages within our body because it is send and transmit the messages from brain to other parts or rest of the parts to brain yes it carry the message so this nervous system composed of three main parts like the brain spinal cord and nerves are all composed of nervous tissue so it composed of brain spinal cord and nerves look this picture so brain is a very very important organ it is a look like computer so it command and also receive the messages and command the particular organ of the parts yes and this brain connected with the spinal cord the brain connected with the spinal cord this spinal cord along the so many nerves to entire animal body to entire animal body yes neurons have the ability to receive stimuli from within or outside the body so receive first receive the what are the stimuli maybe we touch the hot object unfortunately first receive that so we receive the hot outside and what happened conduct send mes- impulse or signals message to different parts of the body particular organ of the body to for what out and finally remove the hand we remove the finger 
so receive and particular pass to send the messages or signals was given by the brain the impulse travels from one neuron to another neuron yes so impulse travels signal sent to one neuron to another neuron yes the neuron is an elongated cell and shows two parts the cell body or cytoplasm or dendrons yes look this picture these are the two main parts cell body and dendrons or dendrites and axon this is also one of the parts of the nerves the cell body or cytoplasm is the central part of the cell or contains the nucleus so this cell body contain central part is present the nucleus this central part extend from all its sides into the thread like branches called dendrons so this is cell body or cytoplasm along with the thread like structure hand like projections like thread like projections this is called dendrites this is called dendrites these axons bundle together to form a nerve that is connected to the brain and the spinal cord yes finally these dendrites connected with another neuron finally that neuron enter reach the connected finally connected with brain and the spinal cord this ox this axon bundle together to form a nerve that is connected to the brain and the spinal cord yes because of the dendrites connected with another neuron by the help of this dendrites connected with another neuron by this time the axon terminal send the messages for connected the brain and the spinal cord look this picture this is an dendrons and finally the impulse or signal sent to send the cytoplasm or cell body and axon to reach the axon terminal connected with another neuron finally what happened the electrical impulses are signal to reach the brain and the spinal cord thank you students completed the first chapter organization living things we will discuss in the new chapter in the next session thank you